But now I'm a landscape painter. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, I don't know if you know how I fell in love with the land, but my sister had a farm. Mm-hmm. And I would just, you know, go and visit her quite a bit. So in those visits, um, I really fell in love with the land driving up there. Sure. And uh, it just, it just uh, you know, became a love affair. <laughs> wow. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, yeah it is. <clears throat> it is. It's great. Because it's always different. Yeah, um, now uh, all our trips are planned around where I want to go, mm-hmm. and we, if we have to fly there, we rent a car when we get there, and we drive around to see the countryside. That's great. <clears throat> so we we just came back from a big trip out west, uh, zigzagging through the U.S. Oh, to Wyoming and Montana. Oh. And then went up into the sort of the southeast corner of Alberta and zigzagged all the way home. Yeah, that's Glacier in National oh, Park. It was fabulous trip. We were it's gone Waterton for 30, Lakes Park, right? We were gone for 32 days. Isn't that wonderful? You must and I got have... over 30,000 photographs. <laughs> oh, my God. Don't, you're kidding me. 30,000. <laughs> over oh. 30,000, yeah. Oh, my God. Anyway, it was a great... Uh, a lot of ideas came out of that show. I, I mean, out of that trip. Out of that trip, yes. You've got yeah. enough for another 10 years worth of painting Oh, oh absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I great. have prairies. I have wetlands. I have... Uh, That's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's just like a um, big inventory of material that you can yes, now work in order to, to make paintings and sell them. That's great. It is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh, it great really idea. is. I started off with a little 35 millimeter camera taking my own pictures. Sure. But but now I have uh, a really nice uh, uh, digital camera. Yeah, you can get everything exactly the way you want it. And I, that's right. Uh, you know, when I when I work, I start by you know re- researching through my my my. Um, Your files of pictures. Collection. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, figure out what I want to do and I will crop it and get it sort of organized right on the on the computer and then take it down to my studio and uh, start sure. that way. Way to, that's wonderful. What a nice mm-hmm. nice satisfying way to work. It um, is. And um so the materials The materials um, that I use. Yeah, how, do they have they changed at all over time or do you Uh well they have um, I've progressed in my oils. I've also progressed with my stretchers. Um, I use Upper Canada professional stretchers because I need the um, yeah. the deeper profile yes. to accommodate the way I work. Yeah. And I start with a cotton canvas, tightly stretched, then I paint four thin layers of gesso sanding between the layers. Oh boy! So I do a lot of work. You do getting my canvases ready. Yeah, um, I'm very fortunate to have a nice little assistant who helps me a lot. That's great. <laughs> so, and, and I've trained her to do it exactly the way I you would want do it. it. In fact, she even does it better than I would. So, what about linen? Would you ever have you ever used linen? Does it work at all? Uh, no, I haven't used linen. Um, I, I have seen some of the linens, and they seem very. Um, the the thread count seems like it seems very coarse. Mm-hmm. Um, so I don't know if I would like linen because I really like a smooth canvas mm-hmm. when I'm done. So if I you know were to put all this gesso on a linen canvas, it would sort of defeat the purpose of using linen because linen right. the quality of it is kind of the texture of the. The it's fabric in, in the fabric, maybe, yeah. Yeah. For some people, think, that's why they use it, I guess, because of that. I would think so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I've never, good. I've never upped my canvas to a linen. I just use no. a, a good quality cotton canvas. So I stretch it, then I do the gesso sanding between all those layers, and then I do um, several layers. I don't. They, it's, it varies from canvas to canvas, 
and the colors that I put on the canvas, but I yeah. apply um, what I call a very thin ground glaze of color. Yeah. And I use for that I use Stevenson's oil paints. Uh huh. Because they're very oily. Okay. And they make into a thin glaze very easily, and the color goes on the canvas in a uh, a beautiful even glaze. So that's kind of yeah. how I begin. Then, so, then I, you know, like I said, I have my picture already. You know what you want uh, to do at that point on the computer. Yeah, I have this motto that I I use. I won't paint anything I haven't seen with my own eyes. Sure. Makes so it sense. has to be one of my photographs. Yes. Um, and the canvas begins with a simple sketch. I uh, just do a very simple drawing on the canvas, sort of pinpointing the horizon line, the whatever the important aspects of the the photograph are. And at this point, I start using Old Holland oil paints. So now I'm using the Rolls Royce of oil paints. Wow, <laughs> they're really beautiful oil paints. They yes. um, <laughs> they they have such beautiful, rich, vibrant pigments. I really, I really, really love them. I'm good for you. So I start laying in color at this point, just yeah. very thin, uh, mixing it with, uh, um, oh, what is it called? Uh, oh. Mineral spirits. Oh. Mixing the paint. You thin it with mineral spirits? spirits? Yeah, <coughs> the, at first. Yeah. Just at first. So I stain it with what I call it staining uh -huh. with mineral spirits. Then I put a um, a medium that I make myself. Um, I don't know if you want to know what I use, but oh. I use um, stand oil, dammer varnish, and turpentine to make my sure. glaze medium. And I glaze the whole canvas with this with this. And then I start painting with that glaze medium that I have mixed. And I paint until another layer is done. And then I do and have to wait for it to dry between layers. Yeah. And then uh, I just keep painting and, and going from thin to fat paint. <clears throat> and it's a very long process. <laughs> wow. But yeah, but you get a very rich surface. It does, yeah. It produces. Uh, really nice, uh, rich uh, mm -hmm. canvases. Sure, that shows up. One can see it. I can see it when I look at your stuff. It's really good. Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it, um, yeah, it, and, and, and I find that um, when you look at it uh, at night under just a dim light, it feels very different from when you see it during the day, but it still has a nice feeling about it. Of course. Just they're, they're very, very different hmm. to look at at different times of day.